Hello. Hello, how are you doing, dear? Hello. Hello, how are you doing, dear? It, it, it's Jill from across the street. Uh, who's this? It's Jill from across the street. Carol? Exactly, yes. How are you doing, dear? Oh, Listen, I'm doing all right. I'm sorry to bother you this evening, but I, I wanted to ask you a question about earlier this evening. Uh-huh. Did you hear any of the racket that was going around out, outside this earlier this evening around, I don't know, maybe two hours ago? There was what going on? Apparently there was a man who was naked and he was running from, you know, he was hiding behind the trees in the bushes and he was running from house to house and I saw him and, and I saw that the police caught him and apparently the cops were in my yard saying that maybe he dropped something along the way or maybe they're looking for his clothes or something. Oh, I see. No, I didn't see anything. Well, how long ago was that? It was about two hours ago. And oh, my goodness. Basically, I was calling just to see if you found anything odd outside, like shoes or, or clothing or something. Uh-huh. Well, that's sure scary, isn't it? You haven't found anything outside, then? Uh-huh. Have you got a cold? I'm on the respirator. Oh, you're on the respirator. Uh-huh. Well, I, I told you about my tracheotomy, didn't I? No. Oh, I, I didn't tell you. I, I had a tracheotomy. I had to get a, a tracheotomy. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I had to get a tracheotomy back in February. Oh, you did? Yeah. In California? Excuse me? In California? Well, I don't want to discuss where it happened because there's a lawsuit pending and everything. As yeah. you can hear, things didn't turn out so well. Uh-huh. Yeah. So I'm going to be suing those bastards. Well, I am talking to Carol, right? Excuse me? I am talking to Carol Odom. Yes, of course. Don't you Pardon? remember? See, you don't recognize me because... <coughs> I'm sorry. You don't recognize me because of the tracheotomy. Oh, that must be it. I'm, yeah. s- I'm sorry. Yeah, well, that's okay. I uh, was kind of leery of who you were at first. No, no, it's okay. I, I, I just was wondering because the police were asking if if I found anything in my yard. So I was calling, you know, to see if they were over there. It was all over on your side of the yard or street then, huh? I don't see anything. Yeah, so, I don't know, he was just running, I don't know where he came from, or where he was headed to, but there was just some crazy naked man, like maybe in his mid-forties, and I saw him out there, and he's stuck in behind the bushes, and he's used to spotlights, and he's running behind the houses, it it was very exciting. Uh It was like TV, right through my picture window. Oh, it was, well, we've got a satellite, we've got another channel, so we don't have any local channel. Okay, well... Yeah, it must have been on the news, too, because there was a news truck outside. Yeah. You didn't hear any of the commotion. You yeah. didn't hear the sirens and, and see the lights. Uh-huh. Yeah. So you haven't seen the light? Yeah. Oh, that, that, that's a sad and sorry thing. Yeah. You ever wonder about where you're going to go someday when you pass on? Have you accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior? Uh, Carol, I'm going to have to hang up. Okay, well, I'm sorry. I've been drinking the bourbon and hitting the Vicodin, so I'm probably not making a whole lot of sense. Okay. Okay. Bye. Love you. And that was sort of fun. <laughs> Thank you, Mark.